Hi friends, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with two really easy, really quick cards using Maker Forte St. Patrick's Day background stamp. It's a huge stamp that's six by eight and at the bottom it has 10 different sentiments. I'm gonna be using this stamp on both cards and I'm also gonna be using bubblegum ink, California love, palm tree, neon lights, coronation purple and eclipse black now to get the rainbow effect that i wanted for this card i started off by inking up the stamp with the bubblegum ink then i ran a, the blending brush along the edge to give it a nice soft edge um, and then i inked up California love but I didn't wipe off my ink in between so I was able to get the orange so I didn't have to worry about having another orange ink in there and then I used palm tree and again using that blender brush the entire time so it gives it a nice smooth transition going to neon light and then lastly I used coronation purple to get that purple at the very bottom I'm using the palm tree ink again for the second card. I inked a piece of acetate, spritzed it with water, and then smushed, ink smushed it onto a piece of watercolor paper. Uh, watercolor paper doesn't warp like normal cardstock will, so it's what my preference for ink smushing is. Now, I, I've left the stamp in my Misty, so I just went over and using the same ink, that palm tree ink, and stamped it. I had to end up stamping a couple of times to get a real good, since it is watercolor paper, it's got a little bit more texture. So I had to ink it up a couple of times to make sure that I got a really a good impression. To clean this stamp, I'm using the Primetime Stamp Cleaner and my Squid Cleaner. It does a great job of making sure that I get all the ink off. Now off camera, I went ahead and stamped the sentiment block in the Eclipse Black ink, and then heat embossed it with a clear embossing powder, and then cut these strips. There's 10 different sentiments, and so I just cut them down into individual strips, about a quarter of an inch or so each. And then also the, the card panels, I cut those down to four by five and a quarter inches and glued them onto a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Now this sentiment is, says Happy St. Patrick's Day and I just got a scrap piece of gold glitter cardstock and used it as a frame for the sentiment because I thought it just needed a little bit of something. For this rainbow card, I chose Lucky as a Leprechaun, Pinch Me and Follow the Rainbow Sentiment Strips. Uh, now you'll see here that I'm running a black Copic marker around the edges. I just like a nice finished edge. I like that it's got that black edge instead of a white edge. You can use any black marker that you have. I just happen to have this Copic on hand, but you can use whatever you've got. Now I wanted to give these sentiments a little bit of a dimension. So I'm using these quarter inch foam strips that I bought off of Amazon really cheap. There's like a thousand in the pack. So I just went ahead and put those behind each one of the, the sentiments just to kind of pop it. Now I always start by putting this, the middle sentiment first because I figure that it's easier for me to line up the rest of them after I do that and give it that they're equally spaced between the two. That's just, again, my personal preference. You can do it however you like. This one, the, I cut the the strip so close that I didn't have anywhere to hold on to it. So anyways, these are my cards. Hope you like them. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And until next time, friends, have a great day.